What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Joseph Nakla, CEO of Tribe Property Technologies. Always a pleasure to have you on, Joseph. How's it going? Really good, Aaron. Thanks for having me on, and Happy New Year. Yes, so it's going to be an exciting year for you guys, and I'm um, excited to have you back. So let's start with an update. What have you guys been up to? Well, we've been busy. Obviously, uh, we uh, we are a national footprint now uh, across the country. We made we closed on on a on a large acquisition uh, at the end of the year. A company called Murdas Group out of the GTA market, the great the Greater Toronto. Uh, area and uh, we've been in, starting to integrate the company we're starting to introduce them to our client based on the developer side there and take advantage of the fact that we basically land the tribe in uh, in the Toronto proper market so we've been really busy with that we've obviously uh, signal to the street that we will uh, be making moves towards profitability. Um, uh, many of your viewers may know that we attracted an incredible veteran uh, of the industry in the prop tech industry in Q4. We attracted uh, we attracted uh, our our new CFO uh, Angelo Bartolini, who uh, uh, came in after 15 years of being the CFO of Altus Group, and uh, since then he's been working really closely with me to drive towards profitability. And uh, he is such an incredible uh, operator to a point where we actually just announced that we've appointed him as president and CFO to start really uh, uh, driving a lot of that value in the back office of the business. Yeah, I was just going to comment. That's our next question. You know, you just appointed him as president, um, along with providing a large corporate update. So maybe you could tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, so very specifically, obviously, uh, he had been uh, a CFO of, a, of an organization that that hit almost a billion dollars of revenue and uh, took him uh, over 15 years from, uh, uh, you know, through incredible growth. And we're, we're, we're seeing that kind of, of, of growth trajectory with our organization. And, and he comes in with such an incredible wealth of, of knowledge around processes for a national player. And uh, as, as many of the viewers may know, that kind of uh, incredible uh, scaling that we've been doing in the last uh, essentially four years across the country required us to make a big investment in there. And now we're starting to reap the uh, rewards of the efficiencies and the acquisitions that we've brought in. So we're really just focused this year on we'll continue to make acquisitions, we'll continue to grow our footprint organically and non-organically. But really now it's uh, we feel very strongly that uh, the stars are aligned for us to start driving towards profitability. It's nice to see everything come together. And we have followed you for quite a while and made quite a number of videos. So I look forward to tracking your progress, you could say. So we know you have a large digital footprint across the country. Partnerships were going to be a big area of focus for 2024. How's that going? Yeah, we're, we're starting really, really strongly. And for those that don't know, I mean, obviously, one of the big things we do as an organization is we deliver digital services and property management services uh, for all of our condo clients and rental clients. And with that opportunity, we have a uh, you know group buying power marketplace where we can actually put offers and services in front of our residents instead of in front of our condo corporations and strata communities and uh, we've uh, we've been working really hard on that and I, I think we we've started the year really really strongly so people will notice that our our partnership revenues is, is is heading towards the right direction and our our business model is uh, is uh, starting to uh, pay dividends. Wonderful. So, you know, do you have any further plans for M&A? You know, we know 2023 is a big year. You made a lot of moves. How's this year looking? We're, uh, we feel really, really good about our trajectory here. Um, I've always spoken about M&A in our, in our market as, as the pyramid. If you look at the addressable market or companies available for acquisition, a lot of small companies and you work your way up to greater assets, but you need the scale and you need the backing to be able to do it. And last year, uh, we announced that uh, uh, one of Canada's largest banks had, uh, had given us an M&A line to go and be very active and make moves on that. And we, uh, we plan on, on on making those moves this year. It's going to be exciting watching you deploy it. So with rate cuts on the horizon, why is now such a great time to look at Tribe versus other times in the past or, you know, other companies specifically? Well, our, our space is still greenfield. There's no lack of condos and buildings to manage and apartment buildings to, to manage. There is, uh, with the interest rates, we think are, are going to also continue to drive uh, affordability 
for homes. Uh, it's it's been a tough go since the industries have gone mm -hmm. up and and maybe slowed down some of the uh, the new construction. I think that's going to get reversed as as we see some of these rate uh, uh, rates come down. And and then we're also seeing quite a bit of demand on digital services in our ecosystem. Uh, we think we're incredibly undervalued as an organization. We're trading a uh, well below one times revenue for a prop tech that's unheard of, but that's okay. We uh, will keep our feet moving and we keep building a great company and, and the rest will take care of itself. So this is as good of a time as any, we've never been cheaper. Couldn't agree more. Well, it's a pleasure, Joseph, always. And I look forward to having you back on for more updates. Best of luck. Thank you so much, Aaron.